What's up guys, Nightwolf88 here, and tonight I'm giving you guys a Flashback Friday story of the worst teacher I ever had. Um, flashback to about 2013 to 2014, um, I was in 7th grade, and back in 7th grade, um, I had to take two extracurricular classes. Um, one class was band, where I had like a uh, freaking second chair trumpet, and the other class I had was ICT, which, if you don't know what ICT is, it teaches about typing, how to use a computer and everything. And before I go on with the story, guys, if you notice, my voice is still kind of scratched up. <coughs> um, excuse me. <coughs> um, this nostril is still clogged, and I can't hear anything out of this ear, so bear with me. So, um, like I said, 7th grade, I took ICT. Um, I didn't know how to type until I took that class. I would always type with this finger, uh, which shows when my fingernail has a little indention in it now. Um, I learned a whole lot in that class, but, th and the thing is, middle school was awesome for me, guys. Um, I don't know if it was awesome for everyone, probably not everyone, but, like, I loved middle school. I had some really nice teachers, too. Um, you know you had a good relationship with your teacher when you were, re when they were really nice to you, and, you know, you looked forward to their class. Now, I'm not saying I was a teacher's pet or anything, um, Lord forbid, like, I'm not saying I would, I was, like, wishing that summer never came or anything, because I love summer, guys. Um, anyone that knows me, I hate summer school. I actually went to summer school a couple times. Freaking sucked. Um, biggest waste of my life ever. Like, seriously, if, it really sucked, man. So, uh, seventh grade, there was one teacher I really hated. And he stands out from, like, everyone else. I'm not going to say his name um, for obvious reasons. But the thing is, this guy was such a narcissistic douchebag. Like, you know how they say you... <coughs> Excuse me. You know how you say you can attract more flies with honey than you do with vinegar? I could have learned more in that class if the guy wasn't such a jerk. Uh, this guy, was he was really strict, and the thing you don't want in a strict teacher is if the strict teacher is, like, really old. Because this dude, I'll put it this way, not to make fun of him, but at the same time, kind of, to make fun of him. This dude looked like he could have been teaching my dad freaking ICT back when he was in middle school. Like, this dude looked like freaking 30 years past retirement. Um, he was... He was really aggressive, and the dude was about like, six feet tall, uh, looked like he hit the gym every day, and the dude was bald, and like, had freaking those white, white looking eyebrows, that's how old he was, white goatee, mustache, um, had these freaking thick ass Dexter laboratory looking, uh, freaking goggles, uh, glasses, freaking Velma from Scooby-Doo looking glasses. Uh, that's, that's basically what he looked like in a nutshell. So this guy was really aggressive, really strict. Um, looked like he could beat anyone's ass in 7th grade. Um, and his class wasn't exactly easy, but at the same time, I got some really good grades. I got straight A's in his class. Um, I learned a lot how to use a computer, like Microsoft, uh, over to, from Microsoft, uh, Word to, like, Microsoft Excel. To Microsoft freaking well not Microsoft iOS from Microsoft Word to freaking iOS Apple like everything basically storage floppy disk and the thing is we had these really old school computers like these were like freaking 1987 looking Apple IIe fax machine floppy disk freaking tape recorder screw you up looking freaking pixelated looking computers like they were old these computers looked like they were old, older than like anyone uh, who worked at the school. And if your hardware is older than the teachers, uh, that's kind of adds up. Well, I can't say it looked older than the teacher, than my ICT teacher, because like I just said, he looks older than my dad. Um, and yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> um, this guy he had a yardstick. 
and he would like slam it on the tables if we didn't do something right like if we missed if we did a typo or if we weren't sitting right we had to sit like we were in the military okay guys like freaking defuse a bomb with one hand and write a memo on the other and this guy we had to like sit up straight like freaking uh, feet at a square position shoulders rounded neck tilted teeth curled freaking eyebrows eyelash looking all clean and everything like we had to look like we just got back from Vietnam like that's how strict this guy was and if we didn't do it right slam that freaking yardstick on the table and all of our tables they were like these big cafeteria looking tables sat with computers or not the computers us facing the front of the class uh, he had the teacher had his desk in the back of the class so he could see all of our monitors making sure we weren't looking up a uh, suggestive websites if you know what I mean uh, no Facebook or anything about that either uh, that that we could have been on so you know this guy he he would slam he would slam the yardstick he actually ended up like hitting a couple kids from being careless and I don't know if he got I think he got demoted for it at one point thank God but the thing is like you're asking for trouble you got a yardstick you're swinging it around so many kids and the thing is that I laughed my ass off of this, and I still do today. This guy slammed the yardstick. Keep in mind, he went through about five of them. He probably had like a stash of them, just like hidden in his closet. Probably like six packs or twelve packs of them in his closet. Because he went through so many of them. Because he hit them so hard and so frequently. And he had them taped up on the ends because they were down to like splinters. So this guy, he's hitting the this table that a girl's at because she's she wasn't feeling too good she was slouching down he slams the yardstick a big chunk of it about 12 inches which I guess it's no longer a yardstick at that point it's like a freaking two foot long roller freaking uh, 12 inches of the yardstick snaps off a big chunk of it goes to the back of the room guess whose computer it hits of course it would be the teachers I have I was laughing I was about collapsed on my table laughing but at the same time I'm hiding like this I had a hoodie right I'm going because <laughs> I don't want to get caught laughing the whole class is erupted but you know I don't want him it seems like he came up to my table frequently like so I wasn't getting caught for laughing if the other class was so he goes he goes back he's cursing himself out a little bit he's like man's computer because the thing is big chunk of it when it hit the computer it hit the keyboard right and I don't know what keys it hit but the thing is he had his computer tower was hooked up to this wire that would feed him through the ceiling and out the ceiling to the front of the class where this projection screen would be and that's where our assignments would be posted on that projector that projector has gone completely off and like it flashed a couple times and then just went off He's going back, so I guess the moral of this story is don't piss off your teacher, otherwise you'll destroy his computer. Um, actually, you'll cause him to be careless and destroy his own computer. Um, I think he got in trouble with the principal for that, too. Um, it really sucked. Actually, no, it didn't suck. It was freaking hilarious. Um, this class sucked, though. Um, if you guys like the story, give it a thumbs up. If you had a really bad teacher um, in the past, or maybe you've got a really bad teacher right now, uh, post it down in the comments section below. If you like my channel, uh, sub please click subscribe. And with that all being said, Nightwolf88, out of here.